Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we try to work with nature. It appears that nature supports life. And it appears that life needs water. Maybe water is the lubricant that keeps life ticking over. We have contracted some digging experts. Maybe they can find us some water. But I'm sure they're not after water, but after something else. On the farm we have a water tank at 348 meters above sea level. It contains 10,000 liters of water. It can be filled from the well or it can be filled from the cistern. Both those structures have pumps. The house below is 10 meters lower than this area. The distance is 40 meters. We have a pipe of 40 millimeters that leaves this ta water tank and it runs down to the house. I made several holes trying to find this pipe. I did find it close to the water tank, but I lose it lower down. I don't want to look for it with the excavator because it will just rip it apart. So our first row of fruit trees are here. There are several factors that influence the pressure in a pipe and the biggest thing is there is a loss of pressure over distance because of the water friction inside the pipe. To irrigate these trees here it's very easy to add another pipe bring it down here, add some emitters and then voila! The next challenge is the water should carry on to the east for about a hundred meters and it should also carry on to the west for about a hundred meters. The drop in pressure in a pipe is due to the friction but also the length of the pipe, the diameter of the pipe, the velocity of the water and then also elevation. Now in our case the drop of elevation is about 10 meters. 10 meters over a 100 meter distance in a 40 millimeter pipe drops the pressure by about one bar that's 14 psi and the increase due to a drop of 10 meters is about one bar. 
So, should the water run to the east, 100 meters, friction drops the pressure, but the drop in elevation increases the pressure. So it looks like we can score there instead of getting a pressure regulator maybe nature can do it for us this is the second swale that needs to be irrigated lots of fruit trees over here We have the pipe, we have the land, we have the distance, the space, the will. Let's see what we can do. Walking back towards the west, the swale, it actually collects water from the slope but also from the creek here I have the excavator called giraffe ready has been serviced again and I have marked the area here so hopefully we can start work to continue this swell to run towards the west and this area has been set aside for a pond water does flow from the top but not that much we think we can fill it from the creek The question remains, do we keep it as high as possible? Yes, but I have to keep the inlet flow in mind and then also the water should carry on towards the west because I would like the water to be on that side as well. A pond here, should it hold water, will be great. We have all this land here and also the garden below the house can be irrigated from here. So far it's just a dream. I have no idea how to build a pond but I will do it. Cold day, 5 degrees Celsius. Beautiful day. Until next time, goodbye.